Good morning, Finnovate. We are Thought Machine, and this is Paul Taylor, the founder and CEO. With a background as a serial technology entrepreneur and having sold his last business to Google, Paul and the team at Thought Machine are on a mission to renew the technological heart of banking, the core operating system. Our system is called Vault. Uh, thanks, Travers. So uh, I founded Thought Machine in 2014, and originally we were actually going to do machine learning and big data play in banking. And we had a reasonable level of success, but we found out it was very difficult for us to access the data in a bank. And we, we, I was, as a, as a long-term technology entrepreneur, I I'd, you know, spent all my time in engineering, but when I saw the horror of the legacy IT systems in banks, I realized that our first play wasn't going to work. So what did we do? Instead of complaining about this, we decided we were going to build a core banking engine ourselves and fix the, fix the legacy technology problem once and for all. Uh, Thought Machine's now a company based in London, based in Shoreditch. We have 60 people. So over the last 12 months, Paul and I have demonstrated Vault to many of the world's top banks, from Asia to Australia, America, Canada, continental Europe, and indeed here in the UK. But today is the first time that Vault has been demonstrated to an open and public audience. OK, Trevor's fire up Vault. Uh, so let me be clear, Thought Machine is a B2B company. Uh, we are not a bank. But what we're doing is pro uh, producing systems that are capable of, we sell to banks, and it is a system that's capable of running the, the entire part of a bank. So it's not a digital layer. It's not just an app. It is the whole bank. Um, now, for purposes of demonstration, we are going to show an, exam an example bank, which we call Propeller. Now, Vault is a cloud-native microservice banking platform, and it is designed to be super flexible so that it, can, can, uh, it is able to build any sort of bank. So we've had maybe 100 banks of various types come to us, all shapes and sizes, and we've been able to uh, um, facilitate their needs. Right. So at the heart of Vault, is the heart of any bank, are the products. And in Vault, these are uh, managed by a system of smart contracts. And Travers is going to demonstrate this now. With, with a, single, um, a single system, we can do all the products in a bank. It doesn't matter if it's a mortgage, a credit card, personal loan, everything. It's all done using smart contracts. So this, uh, if you see, the smart contract is written in code. In this particular case, it's written in Python. And this describes how the, the actual terms of the contract and how the contract operates in terms of moving money. Right, so we're going to take out a loan, and we're going to, uh, we're going to see that. So we're going to jump onto the customer page. Uh, so Travers is going to take out a personal loan here. Uh, on the yes, over here. Right, and here we see a loan simulator, and in many ways this is this should look familiar. But in this case, this is actually running the smart contract in the back end of the bank. First of all, and that smart contract generates all this front end code. For first of all, it saves a lot of front end programming, but more importantly, it means that the person taking out the loan can be guaranteed that this is the simulation and everything that they're going to see. Right, so Travis is going to take out a loan, apply for that loan, and um, then we're going to have a look at the bank view, which is, and we're going to have a look at how that loan is approved. So that will have raised a ticket, and the ticket will go into a loan approval queue, and then we can have a look at, and so this would be a loan approval officer in a bank approving this loan, and, um, and once this is done, the, the loan will go make, the loan will go live, the, uh, loan account will be opened and the money will move into Travers's personal account. OK. So let me talk about another key feature of the bank, which is data. Da now, data lies at the heart of every bank. And I think that problems with data are one of the key problems that banks have, that they have data in different silos in, 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 in all sorts of problematic ways. In Vault, we take data very seriously. And um, the principles we use are there's a single source of truth. Data is never copied. Um, there's a real time, there's no kind of end of day processing. The ledgers are immutable and everything's highly structured. The two primary databases are the transaction database and the contracts ledger, which hold all the transactions and all the contracts. Now, um, so that is how we kind of record and store the data. So that's the first half of the issue. The second half of the issue is how we process the data and make sense of it. And we have a data analytics platform, and that is a, based on a pipeline real-time streaming system. And from that, we can analyze the data in any way we want. And that is how we, do, um, how we produce the balance sheet and the P&L. The balance sheet and the P&L in the vault are updated with every transaction. It's completely live. We generate all the regular reports in the bank completely automatically, again, using the data streaming. 
And we run stress tests in the bank, and we implement the Basel 3 metrics, again, using the SIM technology. Finally, um, we have a machine learning team, which is where we came in, and that uses the, the database also. OK, so we're now going to go under the customer view of the bank. And so here we have a, a, a customer with a set of transactions, and these are from Vault. But in addition, we have a strong open banking play. And if Travers just wants to see, if you see further down in the, in the selection of lists, he actually has all his Barclays accounts, which are onboarded here. And through open banking, we can facilitate connection to all the major UK banks. Right, we perform machine learning on the transactions, which categorizes them. And through that, we have a rich and deep set of categories. Here, Travers is showing his, uh, his energy bills for the year. Seems to spend quite a lot of money on energy, if I'm honest with you. Yes. £1,128. Um, should we try something else? Should we try your Amazon spend? Oh, let's not, but go on then. OK, Amazon, 2007, oh, 5,602. All right, it's, it's hardly surprising Amazon's such a valuable company. <laughs> and, um, and as you see, we have a, a rich set of logos which categorize uh, from all, all, the, uh, all the merchants as well. OK, over to you, Travis, to close. So, ladies and gentlemen, Vault from Thought Machine, a cloud-native, cryptographic, core banking operating system using smart contracts, workflows, operating seamlessly through RESTful APIs. It really doesn't get better than that at core banking. So thank you to Paul, all the rest of the team, of course, back at Thought Machine HQ, and uh, to the Finnovate team. Thank you. Thank you.